Sports Cowboys owner Jerry Jones defending his stake in fantasy sports website DraftKings, saying, quote, from my perspective, anything that follows the rules that causes and creates more interest and more fan participation, I'm really for. So I'm a supporter, and that's the rules that we'll test, in put, uh, test is put your money where your mouth is. Joining us now is Sportslot co-founder Todd Hayden. Todd, all right, what is your take on this scandal at this point in time? It seems like it's not really hurting the industry quite yet. No, Sandra, first off, thanks so much for having me. No, it's, it's not hurting the industry. You know, as, uh, as Jerry said, this is all about the fans right now. Uh, the federal government, through the UGA law, has, has clearly defined fantasy as a game of skill. And uh, by next year, we're projecting 75 million Americans and Canadians playing fantasy sports. It's a booming industry. Do you fear what all this regulation talk is going to do to the industry? No, I think the most important thing here, Sandra, is that um, like, like in most growing industries, and you look at a lot of new companies right now, you guys were talking about Uber before, we got to have the right regulations in place. This is a growing space. Uh, we really believe that this is just the tip of the iceberg. This industry is going to continue to grow. Uh, but without regulations, um, we, we, could, we could be in for a couple different things. So we definitely got to, uh, collectively, those who are involved, got to make something better here and got to step in and, uh, and play our role in this. Well, hey, Todd, but Nevada, Las Vegas has said this is gambling and your sites have to register as such. You, isn't the industry in danger of state by state by state? It's already not available in 45 states. Now, Nevada, states could just say you can't operate here. Yeah, that, that could be the case, of course. I don't think any of us was too surprised with Nevada. Uh, those of us in the industry who have been watching each state, uh, this was pretty predictable. But going forward, again, we believe, in, and that's one of the big reasons behind the Fantasy Gaming Commission, of, of why we want to make sure that we can put the necessary steps in order uh, in order to not make the states have to look at this thing and, and start fighting federal law here. So anything that we can do, uh, of course, we want to do about it. Todd, uh, Preet Bahara, who uh, brought down online uh, poker, has gotten interested in this. Uh, sure. Isn't that a, 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 a bit of a sort of a concerning notion for you? It really isn't. Again, we really believe this space is going to continue to grow. Uh, this is not poker. Uh, it's very different. You've got, like Jerry said, so many different people who are really behind what fantasy sports can do for the economy, that can do for, for different sports, do us for consumers, right. for fan engagement. So, no, we don't really believe that that's a, uh, a bad thing. Again, we've got we to gotta do the necessary things here in order to make sure this industry continues to grow uh, going forward. All right. Well, good luck to you, Todd Hayden. Thanks for joining us and uh, explaining your side of the story. This is ongoing and uh, likely to be some big changes on the front. Thanks. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam.